Hi guys, that's Dorota Palicka, international nail artist and educator here and today I have prepared those beautiful snowflake nails. How about we prove you over here? They're absolutely amazing and I hope you really like them as well. If you do, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know what else you would like to see it on this channel. We produce the content every Monday, Wednesday and Saturdays. And when we've got some extra spare time, we're happy to put up more videos for you. I hope also if you're new in here, you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to don't miss any future tutorials. So let's start. very Christmassy set so we are going to use the 174 color obviously I have done three already because uh, it is quite time consuming and because it is the same background on all of them I thought I will show you on the one so just paint I love this red like it is amazing and Olivia loves this as well like it's so popular for uh, tools uh, ladies choose it a lot and so does for their hands as well absolutely amazing so I'm just painting it um, to save the time decent enough so we can get a coverage in one coat and then we are going to cure it in the meantime on my mixing palette I'm going to grab the colors which you will need which is the black gel so just a scoop of that gel let me clean my spatula Okay, we need the drop of that and we are also going to need a drop of the white gel as well. So clean it well and pick up the white. Uh, red colors, red, white and blacks, um, yeah, always curing 60 seconds uh, to get a really nice result. And now we have to paint those checkered look my tip okay I'm just going to take it out a bit sooner on the middle part just in there we are going to paint those checkered looks so pick up the middle okay that's your middle and then paint those squares leave an empty space and again leave an empty space It's a very uh, time-consuming set. Okay, color them in. And another one. I find it that if I would start coloring them in first, I would get outside the shape. Like maybe not outside the shape, outside the lines. So that's why I have done the lines first. Okay, 
and color it in. For those checkered looks, yes, I would charge a lot because uh, it is really takes ages to paint them. Color this one in. Okay, just perfect them. You would need an oxygen connection after you finish this set. I remember once I have done French manicure the entire day. Like, um, I was really feeling dizzy at the end of the day. Okay, then on the other side, in the same row, I'm going to paint the next square bits and pieces. Obviously, I cannot paint it a full, full square block, uh, block here. Here, just a wee tiny dot. So same, and because this is a coffin shaped tip, it um, it goes less and less at the end. So here I'm just having something like this, and then here is just a wee wee line bas basically. And then the other side. Just a dot in here, almost nothing in there, and slightly bigger here. Here I've got just like a wee triangle. Color it in. Okay, so that's my box is done. Next one, get your brush into a really nice and fine line. And then we are going to paint lines in here. Make sure they are in it in the square shape as well. Okay. 
basically what you could do it is paint a line in here and then go smaller as you move on I can see this one is too small. Okay, once you have done those first lines, we are going to paint another ones in here. So again, join them in. And then go from largest to the smallest. Leave an empty space. Same here. Okay, so you've got in each of those slots, you've got an empty space. Same. Okay, and this way we have painted those checkered look. We can give it a cure. And once it's cured, we can top coat it and move on into the next part. Okay, so we are going to use the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel on the entire tip. I mean, they look so pretty just on its own, but we are going to decorate it as well. So give it a cure, go back to your D-liner brush and let's decorate it. Okay, so I'm going to paint the first snowflake. Make a small dot just so you know where this the where is the middle, and then using the dotting tool, place like a four large dots one, two, three, and four. Then use your brush. and drag them in. Make one. And opposite way. No, guys, just check it. Look like it's, it's so amazing. Okay, 
as a background. It looks fantastic. Look how little product I've got on my brush. Gosh, and I have so, show you already so many different types of the snowflakes on this channel and the ideas are never ending. You could create so many different types. <laughs> this one is so pretty and uh, delicate in the middle. Absolutely amazing. I love this one so much. similar ones so I have done some dots clean my brush because there was some fluff in there and drag them in You want to go through those dots which you have painted. And each time I'm cleaning my brush so the line is nice and clean. That's a really amazing snowflake as well. We could sugar it, um, but I'm just going to leave it let me do one more in here, very simple one. Because two is an even number and I prefer doing uneven numbers. Even if this is something very small. Cook it. Okay, we have to do another type of snowflake here. Let me clean this one. It has something there. A dot again, so I know where I am. And across. Triangle. Okay, prolong that. And then do the arms. Three this time. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. 
If you start feeling your brush doesn't behave, clean it. Single arm. And a dot. And one nice dot in the middle. And a tiny wee snowflakes here. Cook it <clears throat> and this one. Uh, no, I've got the pinky one, I think. Yay! So, again, find my middle without finding the middle. I cannot, um, it's much more difficult to paint, guys. So rumbles shape. It's just like a two triangles and then color it in. Triangle, triangles, yeah. See, after Christmas season, your hand will be so trained up to do the lines and straight things because it's really difficult to paint actually the snowflakes. Absolutely amazing exercise. And then empty space. Dotting tool. And three dots. I would also suggest you kind of um, came up with the ideas of your own snowflakes, guys. Um, I don't have a set snowflake. I'm working like with the lines, dots and rhombus shapes always for a, for a nice result, you know, and you cannot go wrong, really. Whatever you paint, it will be nice. I 
Okay, even so simple one, I'm just going to add some dots. And that can be snowflake too. Okay, give it a cook. And then another one. Hmm. Maybe cameraman, you want to paint some snowflake? <laughs> no. You don't want to. Okay. Uh, let's paint some large one. I'm trying to be symmetrical trying to because you never 100% symmetrical <laughs> And some arms. It's getting faster. But you can see it, if we paint slower, they are nicer. I'm painting like a rhombus shape inside. And that's the snowflake finished. And some small one. Here we can paint just a bit of it. And some dots. One, two, three, four. Kick it in. And that's our set. Finish it. So I can show you the full look of it. UV cleanser to remove the inhibition layer. There we are here. Another one. Here. 
here. So you would basically do it at, as the entire set, all exactly the same, just a slightly different snowflakes, but I think it looks absolutely amazing. There we are, that's how all of it looks. So nice and pretty. I hope guys you have really enjoyed this uh, tutorial. I'm sending you glittery hacks and bye for now.